What if you could turn a spreadsheet with just people's names and their companies into gold mine with their emails and social media profiles like this? Pretty amazing, right? Welcome to Bardeen's YouTube channel, where we show you how to leverage artificial intelligence and automations to gain an edge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find email addresses of your potential clients lightning fast and at scale right from Google Sheets. Let's do this. For today's build, you'll just need two things, a spreadsheet with people's first names and their companies and the Bardeen browser extension. And to make this automation possible, we'll have just three actions in it. The first one is going to pull information from Google Sheets, then it's going to get enriched, and then finally, the information is going to be put back into your spreadsheet. For the lead enrichment part, we're going to be using the integration called Apollo, which is phenomenal for finding people's social media links and emails. Let's take a look. And by the way, the links to all of the automations you're going to see in this video are down below. So feel free to grab them. For today's use case, I'm going to be contacting people from the Forbes 30 under 30 crew. If we scroll down, we have a spreadsheet with all of the data, not quite a spreadsheet, but I scraped it using Bardeen, which I'm going to show you how to do a little bit later in this video. And here we have people full names, their companies and some additional information. So let's go ahead and open up Bardeen, click on create and find Google Sheets over here. If you don't have it integrated, click on this plus icon to do so. The first action is going to get a table from a Google Sheet. This Google Sheet is called Forbes under 30 and the tab is called Sheet 1. Next up, we need to enrich the information coming from this spreadsheet. I'm going to click on New Action, Find Apollo over here. And then the action is called Get Contact Information from Apollo. There are a few arguments, such as an email, which I obviously do not have, but here's what I do have. With the full name, I'm going to insert the full name coming from the spreadsheet. Here we have all of the fields. Let's select full name. We also have the organization name. It's called company over here. And we do not have the domain, but that's fine. The more information you feed it, usually the better. So we've gotten the information, we've enriched the information. Now let's put it back into our beautiful spreadsheet. Let's select Google Sheets. And the action we're looking for is called update Google Sheet row. Let's select the same spreadsheet. Now we need to specify how the spreadsheet rows will be found. I'm going to say by the full name. Next up, we need to tell Bardeen which rows to update. So for search rows by column, we can say full name, for example, because this will be the unique identifier. And here we can feed the same information. Full name, for example. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to update any of the existing columns, but I want to add all of the new information that comes from our Apollo action. So here I'm going to click on use commands and then select action two, which is the enrichment action person and feed all of the fields that will be coming from Apollo. That's it. Let's click on done. Let's click on done again. And let's call this automation enrich sheets. Just like this. Let's click on save. That's it. That's our automation. Let's go ahead and run this with one click. Okay, it's done. Uh, let's check out our spreadsheet. There we have everything. And look at how many emails were actually found. It's not bad, probably around 70%. We have people's emails. We also have people's LinkedIn profile links over here. This is great. This is exactly what I was looking for. I even have their phone numbers. Crazy. And by the way, you can do the same for companies and so much more. I have the full Apollo tutorial. You can check it out over here. By now, some of you might be thinking, Renat, I don't have a list of people's first names and companies in the first place. What do I do? Well, just kidding. It's super easy to do using the Bardeen scraper. Let me show you. Let me show you how I built that exact spreadsheet. I'm going to open up Bardeen again. And here we have this scrape action. We can create a new scraper template that just extracts information from the web. We're going to scrape information from the currently open tab. And I'm going to pick list scraper. Let's call it demo Forbes 30 under 30. That's the name of our scraper. Scroll down a little bit, and then we're going to identify two similar elements to say, hey, this is the list we want to extract. And then you can just click on the element, for example, this full name. Google's age, country, industry, and the company name. And the final touch is going to be for us to identify the next button so that we can go through this entire list. Let's scroll all the way down. 
and somewhere here yeah somewhere here i have this next button so i'm going to click on this icon over here and select click pagination and click pagination is just going to click on that next button let's save the template and that's our first action that's going to extract the information from the currently open tab also if you click on this action you will be asked how many items you want to potentially extract i'm going to make it an ask me every time variable so you can uh, pretty much specify it when you run the automation i'll call it how many items finally we want to add that information into a spreadsheet i'm going to click on new action select google sheets click on add rows to a sheet i'm also going to say ask me every time so that i can select the spreadsheet every time i run the automation and then we'll need to add data coming from that scraper. So I'm going to use commands and feed all of the information coming from the scraper, just like this, into our spreadsheet. Let's click on done and let's try it out. Here we have our two arguments. I'm going to scrape 300 results because why not? Let's go for 500. That's more interesting. And then I'll need to specify the spreadsheet to add the data to. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet just like this with something that's called a nested command. And let's call this spreadsheet Forbes homies. Let's run the automation. So Bardeen is currently visiting each one of those five pages or however many we need to reach 500 results. And there it is. You can download a CSV if you want to, or let's open up our Google Sheet. And there we have all of the data nicely organized. Thanks for watching. And by the way, you can build the exact same workflow with any other app like Airtable, Notion, and even CRMs. And if you want to learn what else you can do with the Apollo integration to enrich data and to add people to sequences, make sure to watch this video next. It's the full Apollo tutorial right here.